We're here on Daf of Bays in the introduction of the Masifta. And frankly speaking, this is a tough one. It requires a study of Masifta Yoma. So don't expect me to solve all the problems here. I'll try to do, we're going to try to do the best we can with the tools that we have. Is something called a chatas pnimis. And it stands in contrast to a chatas sona. Chatas kitsona is your classic chatas in a number of different ways. And some of those distinctions have an impact on the discussion that we've been having for the last few days, meaning before Rosh Hashanah, on. Pigu. Of course, the most fundamental difference between the two is which Mizbeach are we dealing with? In the case of Chatas Pnimis, we're talking about the Mizbeach Pnimi, otherwise known as Mizbeach Azov. But in terms of the Dam, there's a fundamental difference here. And that's called Tvilas Etzba. Hazor on the Mizbeach HaPnimi of Chatas Pnimis is different than the Hazor on classical Chatas in the Itzona. Here we require what's called Tvilas Etzba. And the Kohen dips his finger into the Dam and does Hazor with his finger. So it's Toval et Zbo Badam, Umaze es Adam. And the question here is where does Tvilas Etzba fit in to the perspective of people? As far as a, common, a comparison between Chatas Pnimis and Chatas Chitsona with regard to Dam, we have a perfect comparison or analogy between, in the case of Chitzona, Zrika Saddam, and in the case of Pimis, Hazar Saddam. And therefore, Machshevis Pigul, during, let's say, in the case of Achatis Chitzona, Zrika Saddam, its parallel would be a Machshevis Pigul during Hazar Saddam, in the case of Achatis Pimis. But what about in a case of a chatas primis, tvilas etzba? Is tvilas etzba already the kickoff, the beginning of hazar Saddam? And there would be a machshevas pigul at the moment of tvilas etzba badam. Or do we say no? Tvilas etzba badam is only a preparatory stage to the actual Hazar, and therefore Pigul only applies during Hazar, not during Tvila Saddam, Biyetzba Adam. So this is Sugin Zvachim, on Daf Yigimon Beis, and the conclusion is, that just like there's a Machshevis Pigul during the Azor, likewise during the Tvilas Etzba, there's also a Machshevis Pigul. And that's unique to a Chatas Pimus. You know, I had a similar question on Rosh Hashanah with regard to Aleinu. Is Olenu part of Malchius? Or is it just an introduction to Malchius? I mean, the first of the 10 Sukkim of Malchius is only at the end of Alkei Nekava, when we say Kakosuk, Besar, Sech, Vahaya, Shem, Lamelech, etc. But the Olenu per se is not part of, it's not integral to Malchius.
it would seem that Olenu is really part of Malchus. That's why we have what we call Hishtachava during Olenu. I mean, if Olenu is only an introduction, I don't know if that would allow for Hishtachava. Now we talk about Ophos. And we have two categories of Ophos that are fundamentally different one from the other. One is called Ola Sa'of, and the other is called Chata Sa'of. In both cases, Shita is replaced by Malika. And therefore, just like we have in Zebach Behema, a Machsheves Pigu Bishas Shita, so too, by analogy, we have a Machsheves Pigu Bishas Malika in Ophos. However, as we said before, the Karbonus of Ophos subdivide into two categories, Ola Sa'of and Chata Sa'of. And all this has to do with what's called Mitsui Da, which means that after the Malika is done, then the coin will push the dam by squeezing the oath onto the mis- and and onto and the, the dam ends up on the misbeh. So now we're going to have a twofold possibility of Machsheves Pigu. Number one, Bishas Malika. And let's say, for example, what would be a Machsheves Pigu Bishas Malika? He has in mind that the Mitzvah Nam will take place, Chutzlam Koma. Or Chutzlizman. Alternatively, at the moment of Malika, he had in mind that the Haktara, now we're talking about a carbon oil, so it's Kulo Kalil, the Haktara on the Mizpah should take place Chutzlizman or Chutzlizman Kom. And now we get to a challenging line that comes from the Minchas Pinu. Bishas Mitzuri shall dam her rush the her goof ki echo yachal lacho of like tira chutzes vana chutzen kom. He says the following. The mitzvah of Mitzuri, in the case of Ola Sa'of, is comprised of two different parts. One is Mitzuri Harosh, and the other is Mitzuri Haguf. And if we assume that there's a Machsheves Pigo, Bishas Mitzuri, what Mitzuri are we talking about? Says the Minchaschinach, we're talking about Mitzui of Dam HaRosh, Vidam HaGuf, Ki Echot. He doesn't tell you what the word Ki Echot means. Let's just see if there's anything in this. Oh, he says, Ki Echot, Velo Bishas Mitzui HaRosh L'Chudei, She'eno Ma'akit. Wow, we have two Chidushim here. Chidush number one, is that a machsheves pigel b'shas mitzi rush would not generate pigel, and the corollary zolto chidich is because mitzi rush is not ma'akev in the akrova of ola saof. Mitzi dam haguf is ma'akev, but not dam harosh. The chadchila, in an ideal sense, we have a double mitzi. So Machsheves Pigu B'Shas Mitzah Rosh Lichudei would not create Pigu. Okay. Now we get to Chata Sa'of. So. 
and the dam of Olas Ha'ov and the dam of Chatas Ha'ov go on two different sides, two different parts of the Mizbeach, the top or the bottom. Once again, in Chatas Ha'ov, Malika replaces Shechita, and in Machsheves Pigu B'Chas, Malika's Chatas Ha'ov is Mafaga. What about Mitzui Dam in the case of Chatas Ha'ov? He says that if during the moment of Malika he has a machshava to be mamatze the dam or to be mazze the dam, chutzis vada chutzim kovah, that for sure is a malecha es pigu, is machshava es pigu. But for shas mitzu, what would be a machshava es pigu? Why? Because keep in mind that. In the case of Chatos Ha'ov, there's going to be Achilas HaKohen. He's not going to get much, but he gets a small portion of the Bosar Ha'ov, because we're talking about a Chatos and not an Ola. But what happens if during the Mitzu Yadam, which is meant to be the Matir of Achilas Besar of Chatos, he has a machshav of chutzim manu chutzim komo. That is a machshav which generates people. And now he introduces a unique sheet of Rabbi Shimon. We said that. In a chatos pnimis, there's pigul not only at the time of the Hazor Saddam, but even at the time of Tvilas Etzma. All that is true according to the Chachomim, but Rabbi Shimon has his own unique sheep. Ein mefaglim bechatos pnimis. We derive pigul from Shlomim. And it doesn't apply to chatos. Now, I'm not sure why Rabbi Shimon limits his statement, his opinion, to chatos pnimis. What about chatos chitzona? There for sure there's much of his people. He says, I don't get it. What about a carbonola? I don't, I don't stop what he's saying. I had to scream, this is no Achila. But I don't get it. What about an Ola? It's no Achila and Ola. That does happen. You All right. So there's a psal people, but not people much. I'm just writing myself a note here. Maishna mi ol. Now we're going to analyze the unique sheet of Rabbi Yossi Haglil. And you remember that we have a chatos nimis where the avoda of the dam is done 
in the Heichal. And the question is, we mentioned over and over again that Pigel requires a machshava that's similar to the Avoda. It's within the general league, but it's Chutzim Zman or Chutzim Kom. And then the question that we raised is about a week ago, what about from one Mizbeach to the other, from the Azara to the Hecha? Are those so far apart that there would not be a Machshavah's people? Says Rabbi Yossi, Right, this reminds us of a discussion we had about Achilas Kloven. See if I can find that. I'll be a miracle if I find it. Let's see. On Chaf Aleph. Should be on Chaf Aleph. We said that Kloven is also an Achilo, did we not? Oh. Because Achilles Adam is so radically different, so far removed from Achilles Mizbeach, in the case of Emurim, that's not a Machsheves Pigo. The flip side, he says, So that's not a Machsheva's people. Here, Rabbi Yossi Aguili says that you're doing an avod of uh, Bachutz in the Azora, and you have a Chutzitz Manu Chutzim Koma Machsheva to do that avod of inside the Heicha. Right? Lahato, Lahazos. And one second, just one second. I think I made a mistake. Let me fast forward for just one moment because there's part of this paragraph that I understand, there's part that I don't understand. <laughs> So wait a minute. So what was the first part of the Tishi Bashash Khitas Katas Pimits Bazara? Azos Midama Hecha. I don't know. I, to my mind, there's a printing error here. I don't know. I'm afraid to say this.
Oh, I, I don't have to change the text, no. What he means is that in a chattas primis, you have the shechita in the azara and the azara in the hecha. There's no such thing as pigo bishas shechita if he has a machshava that the hazar will take place chutzim zman or chutzim kol. Because he's going from one avoda, which is bachutz, with a machshava of chutzim zman or chutzim kol, on an avoda that's bifnit. The chen, let's see the reverse. Yefsha lachashe bavoda anasis bifnim. That would be Azor. Alavoda Shedino Leoses Pachutz. Which I guess means Haktara in this case. That's my guess. Okay, then. So, again, if he has a Machshavis Pigo, when he's doing an Avoda Bifnim for an Avoda Bachutz, or when he's doing an Avoda Bachutz for an Avoda Bifnim, that's not Pigo. He writes here in the footnote, the Rama passes like Rabbi Yossi Aglili. Rama also passes at Tfilas Etzba Mephageles. And Tfilas Etzba is Nasis Bifnim. How could he be Mephageles? I thought it had to do with Haktorah. He says, Al Koch of Shafishev, Tfilas Etzba. Oh. Oh, very nice. Right, we said this Tfilis Etzba, and then Azo. So he had a machshava during the Tfilis Etzba on the Azo. And that means both are modus of Bifnim, and therefore Pigol is fully operative. And that's what we said earlier. That the Sugi and Dafi Gimel establishes that even during Tfilis Etzpa, there's a Machshava Hamifageles, and that would mean on the Avodah Dazo. Then he writes, Sorech Shiyachshov Es Machshavas Hapigo Bechol Hamatir. Oh, this is the, the Principle called Ein Pigo Bechatzi Matir. O Bechatzi Matir. Chiche Bezrika Achas Shal Shlomim Lahaktir E Murim Lemocha Re Chiche Becholamati. Right, he's talking to Shash Chita, is he not? No, 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 I'm sorry. Katsi Mater in Zrika. Oh, I see. We're talking about Kronos uh, Hamizbeach. 
that's the that's the impression I get of you. So the critical, the absolute critical Zrika would be the first of the four Zrikos. Or sometimes you have Steinstein Arba too. So during that one single Zrika, you had a Machshava on Akhtar Saimurim, Chutzun Zmano Chutzun Kom. So we have here a matir and a nita. Why? Because Rika Achas is enough of a matir to allow for Akhtara Saimuri. We don't have to wait for the other Zrikos to be matir, Akhtara Saimuri. Okay. So that's called a complete matir. However, let's say in Shkita, the Adam Achshev is pigu besimon echot mishnei simon. That's already chatzimat. And there's no Achshev is pigu bechatzimat here. So if I understand correctly, he means that you're going to have to have a Achshev of Chutz and Zvara Chutz during the sheet of both Simon. Now, in the case of Menachos, we have Akhtar Sakomets and Akhtar Sach Levona. If he only had a Machshava during one of those two, let's say, for example, he had a Chutz Nisman, a Chutz Nisman, during Haktoras, Haktores, Hakomets. So that would not be a Mahshava Fagelis. He needs to have a Chutzus Mano Chutzum Como on both. Doctora Sakomets and Doctora Salavon. One without the other would just simply not do because that would be Chatzimati. And here he quotes the Gemara Menachos Daf Yud Zayin that in Menachos we're always talking about the Shirayim, which are eaten by the Kohanim. But we need two haktoros or two matirim before we can allow for the head of Shirayim. We need haktor sakomets and haktor salavon. One without the other will not suffice. We have machokas rishonim in a case of a chatsi matir. Is the carbon at least possible if you had a real wrong machshob? For sure, there's no Torah spiegel bechatsi matil in yimchi of kari salachim. So, but the carbon itself might be possible. Oh, Dilma, he says, she ain't a carbon possible with the rice. Oh, what happens if he's got a few steps to take to get to the to get to the Zbeach, and he had a machshav only during one step? That would be the chorachatzi matir. It's not so. And even though it'll need a lot more. Seals, I mean, he strides until he gets to his bath. That's not called a chatzimat. He 
doesn't tell you why. Oh, he says, Mishusha ain't sheer la lochem. I get it. Again, you know, he needs a lot of steps. <laughs> but that's only because physically that's where he finds himself. But in terms of Allah, there's no minimum shear of Allah. That leads us to page of Gimel, which I'm not finding right now. We have Chav Gimel. All right, we'll have it by Sunday, man. Okay. <laughs>